On 24 of June 1910, Alfa, the anonima Lombarda fabric automobili, was founded in Milan. Today, Alfa Romeo is celebrating its 110th anniversary. Welcome to the Alfa Romeo Museum in Arese, just outside Milan. The museum collects the cars, engines and artifacts, as well as the stories of the people, of the projects that have left their marks on these 110 years of history. A history that begins with the first vehicle, but also with the history of the Alfa Romeo logo. Legend has it that a young designer named Romano Cattaneo was waiting for the streetcar one morning and he noticed the two symbols of Milano, the cross of the municipality and the bichone, the snake of a Visconti family. These two symbols were combined to create the Alfa Romeo emblem, which has remained mostly unchanged until today, but has also been the mirror of the company's main transformation. Year after year, small and big changes were made until it finally came to life in its present form. Before accessing the heart of the museum, note that one section is dedicated to the brand's aeronautical production. From the Angelo dei Bimbi, the children's angel, to the great engines produced during the Second World War. The museum is divided into three sections, Timeline, Bellezza and Speed. The Timeline section tells the story of Alfa Romeo as a company, the production plans, the people that contributed to make it great. But, above all, the cars. First among all, the 24 horsepower, the first automobile produced by the car maker in 1910, and then throughout all the subsequent periods, until present day. 110 years of history have gone by, years in which the world has changed, cars have changed, but Alfa Romeo has always been capable of evolving and reinventing itself to remain into the spotlight. The second section is entitled Bellezza, the only word that is never translated. Bellezza is the transformation of the shapes, it is car design, but it's also the beauty of the world seen from behind the wheel of an Alfa Romeo, as well as Alfa Romeo's role in the society. The 50s and the 60s mark the period in which Alfa Romeo started in advertising, cinema and everyday life. But the Giulietta, the Italy's girlfriend, and the Giulia, designed by the wind, were also witnesses of an industrial dimension. The plants were producing at full capacity, and Alfa's car were winning at the races. The third and most passionate section of the museum is dedicated to speed. This section describes the races, drivers, the major challenges, but also the performance, driving pleasure, and technological excellence that distinguish Alfa Romeo. Our journey begins with a section dedicated to the big races in between the two world wars, where the drivers were considered actual heroes. After World War II, the world is entirely new. While at the Portello plant, the Alfa Romeo of the future was being designed, the legendary Alfettas, with Nino Farina and Fangio, were winning the two first world championships of the new board Formula One series. These remain two of the most important victories of Alfa Romeo Hall of Fame. However, what makes this brand truly legendary are not only the famous victories, but also the impossible endeavors that triggered the public's passion. Racing is part of Alfa Romeo's DNA, regardless of the period, car or category. Sportness and speed are the fundamental values of Alfa Romeo. With more than 70 vehicles on permanent display, the museum's backstage is home to the rest of the collection. 200 vehicles, engines, models, equipment, as well as both famous and unknown stories of Alfa Romeo. This is an area that the passionate fans can visit on appointment. But it's also an operational area of the museum, where the vehicles are moved, maintained, and they give life to everyday museum activities. The true heart of the museum and of Alfa Romeo is the documentation center. Stretching over 6,000 linear meters, this historical archive collects documents and photographs and other materials that tell the famous and less known stories of this brand. The documentation center is at the service of scholars, 
students and collectors. This, the museum, the collection, the archive, is where our journey through 110 years of Alframea history begins.